Hi there, Aries. Welcome to your May 2019 general and love reading. This is for all my Aries friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. <clears throat> I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Your support means so much to me, and I just want to thank you guys so, so much for being kind and understanding and appreciative. I am absolutely appreciative for all of you. I'm sending lots of love to you guys. Um, I'm still a little under the weather. I'm getting better. So you may notice that my voice may still come and go a little bit. I am finally feeling on the mend. Also, um, uh, the same with the other readings in the past. <clears throat> I will be editing out any time. At least I'm going to try to get every single time I cough. Um, so just a fair warning, your video may be edited a little bit just to remove all the little cough attacks I've been having. But thank you guys so much. I'm going to get started with your general reading and then we'll follow up with a love life reading for um, singles and couples. And we'll do a Mother's Day message at the end. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sun, I'm sorry, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. If you're not sure where your placements are, there is a link in the description box below. So you can plug in your information and uh, get a free natal chart. Okay, some of you need to take some time alone. Meditation brings answers. If you're not sure what your next step, how to handle a situation, um, if you're feeling anxiety about an upcoming situation, um, if it's something that you've been wanting to take the initiative on, perhaps you'd like to gain some clarity. Take some time for yourself. Meditation brings answers. As I was saying, because I was still in the middle of my intro. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you'd like to know what your other aspects are, there is a link in my description box below. So you could plug in your information. I'm not affiliated. I make no money. That's just the website that I use. There's plenty of websites out there. If you don't want to use it, you can always Google free natal chart. <clears throat> also, remember this is a general reading, so not all messages will resonate with everyone. I gotta say it, I gotta say it. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Helpful people are there for you. Those of you that are feeling stuck as though you don't have anyone on your side or anyone to lean on or go to, you're feeling as though you're running out of options, know that there are helpful people there for you. That is the message I got for that card. As I was saying, <laughs> spirit keeps interrupting me, but keep them coming. So, <clears throat> let's get started with your general reading for May 2019. Sun, moon, rising, signs. May 2019, what is the most important message Aries needs? May 2019. Listen to your intuition. Look at that beautiful card. Those colors. Again, if I bring them together with the um, meditation brings answers and the helpful people, if you need to seek guidance or assistance on um, how to meditate, how to connect with your guides, how to really release yourself from whatever has been going on in your mind because I keep thinking eight of swords energy right now like self-sabotage self-imposed prison you kind of just got yourself into a jam into a situation you're trying to figure out how to break free I feel that you know the answers I feel that you know what the best thing to do is it just takes a little bit of clarity a little bit of time strength and courage you'll get there whatever this decision may be some of you um, right off the bat the message i'm getting is that you want to move some of you that you want to quit your job i have someone here who's thinking of fighting for custody like you don't have full custody right now and you're at that point of no the kids should be with me others of you i feel as though there is someone here with a relationship issue where some shit just is not jiving it is not adding up and you're just at that verge of how do I confront this person? How do I talk to this person without sounding like I'm being paranoid or crazy? Listen to your intuition. That gut feeling, it's usually right. How many times have you gone back and said, if only I'd listen to my gut? Right? So let's expand on that. <clears throat> 
again forgive the raspy voice i'm still still trying to get better this is the eight coins tattoo tarot deck if some of you aren't familiar with it um, the pictures are quite different they're not traditional from uh, the typical tarot decks <clears throat> but i will give you a close-up view of them three of pentacles so you get an idea the temperance card Sagittarius I want to say last month's reading Aries and Sagittarius also came together five of swords nice ten of cups I love it I love this card beautiful that is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Actually, I think it is my favorite card in this deck. <laughs> oh, yikes. Seven of Swords. When you have the Ten of Cups in between the Five and the Seven of Swords, there is some tough struggles here. The Empress card. If you're not trying to get pregnant, watch out. Some of you are trying to get pregnant on purpose, and I see that happening just to put that relationship on lock the moon card that is your secret secret pregnancy someone's about to discover your secret that's double secrets right there with the high priestess and the moon Ooh, watch out eights of swords clarity is coming the truth is being revealed <clears throat> the judgment card mm -mm -mm. look at that all major arcanas here at the bottom you're gonna you're having some really really major life events happening seven of cups flew out right side up and then it just kind of turned upside down so i'm gonna keep it in reverse <clears throat> again sorry for me trying to clear my throat and get those messages out for you Aries listen to your intuition if there are secrets that you have been hiding keeping or you know of someone who is doing this for example a friend someone you're close to a family member they want you to help collaborate to help keep this secret it's almost as though they're hatching this idea if this isn't you this is someone you know and some of you don't know you know this person is doing this just yet but there is some conflict there is some <clears throat> almost as though the best way I could say it is the lie turned into a bigger lie into a bigger lie and you've lost control remember this can go vice versa this can also be someone within your energy, someone you're close to. So if it doesn't resonate or doesn't apply to you, remember, this can be someone around you. So listen to your intuition. There are secrets, 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 deep secrets that are about to be revealed. Some of you are holding on to secrets that the guilt is just eating away at you. I have someone here who is probably going to be going to court soon on a paternity test and the truth is going to be revealed where there was confusion and illusion in the past of you know letting someone know that you know here's what here's what I'm feeling right now you've been telling the wrong person that they're the father Now they're about to find out they're not. Maybe some of you have been fighting for child support and custody. And now that this person is coming in saying they want custody is when you're about to reveal and drop bombs and be like, um, no, he ain't even your kid. You really want to go in and just destroy any chance of them 
winning over whatever judgment case they this may be whether it's child support or custody others of you you're not at this point yet but I definitely feel as though you are trying to figure out a way to keep someone at your side you've created a whole new truth and Aries be careful because if this isn't you creating it be careful of who you are trusting in this situation there are major secrets here it does involve a family situation a partnership a group of three or more so if this isn't in the family this is at work there is some devious and deceptive behavior surrounding the stability emotional stability like the news that you're going to find out crush worthy Let's clarify this because I feel that at this point you have to make a judgment call on whether or not to reveal the truth before the court system does. You know, I'm feeling a different deck. Give me one second. <clears throat> So let's clarify this. That was the high priestess that came out. Remember, repeating cards have a very strong and significant message for you. Secrets being revealed. The veil is thinning. You're starting to realize some of you may want to manipulate the truth to create a whole new version of whatever this truth may be. And remember, Aries, if it's not you, it can be someone you're dealing with. So watch out. Be careful. Let's clarify that Seven of Swords. Because that is some devious energy. Sneaky, sneaky. Another seven. It's as though you're willing to do anything and everything to hold on to this Ten of Cups, even if it means lying about paternity. Or that you purposely became pregnant to keep someone. Or you, yeah, either you purposely got pregnant or you purposely got someone pregnant. And this was all because you felt you're deserving of this. You put in a lot of work to this situation. You're sitting here hatching a plan. How can I keep them with me? How can I stop them from ever leaving me? I don't want to be left alone. I don't want to be left out in the cold. You are dependent on each other financially. The stability in the home. Whether you on him, him on you, however it may be. Let's clarify the Empress. Six of Pentacles, mm, Five of Cups, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is the secret? Yeah. Secret union, secret baby daddy, secret marriage, secret hookup, secret, secret pregnancy. Some of you may have cheated, got pregnant by the person you cheated with, possibly a Scorpio. In any case, it's an opportunity for a whole new beginning. So those of you that are in a relationship that cheated with someone else, that is the secret. And now you're pregnant. And so you're wondering, do I move on? Let my partner think it's theirs? 
How do I blind him with what I say is the truth and not what they think or hear as the truth? What is the judgment call that needs to be made? Yeah, whether or not whether or not you are willing to bring down this person's reality to crush whatever idea they had of a stable home environment of a family environment wow look at all that earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn some people are going to put you in a place of confronting you maybe by earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn they want you to be honest they want you to own up to your shit or vice versa let's clarify the temperance card what does Aries need to temper themselves with from what is the situation that's being asked to slow down wow queen of wands that is you What I'm feeling here, it's like you're feeling a bit fired up. You want to take action about the situation, but you need to slow down about how it happens. That is in Taurus season, which we are, we have just entered Taurus season. That's the Hierophant card, especially if you're thinking, oh shit, I'm pregnant. Don't want to let them know that I cheated. Maybe I'm just going to hurry up and get married and then they'll never find out. And so I'll still have... My Ten of Cups. You're very conflicted about it because there is a part of you where you know this is fucked up and you know it's wrong. You have quite a few fives here. So obviously this is a huge impact to your present and future energy. Major change. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, all which are here in the Four of Pentacles. I don't like to take more than two to three cards. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. Too many again. King of Swords, the Fool, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, and Eight of Cups. Okay, oh my. Three of Pentacles, look at that. The Lover's card and the Devil card. Good and evil. Divine connection. And making a decision about a toxic relationship, a toxic environment. You feel tied and bound to someone or this is how you want them with you. You want them chained to you. You don't want them going anywhere else. This is a very controlling and possessive energy because you're afraid to lose that person or vice versa. I don't like that energy at all. This is toxicity, manipulations. The gift. Are you waiting for a gift, an inheritance? Are you waiting for a proposal? Hmm. Look at that, the thief. You're trying to keep this going. Thoughts. You're trying to keep this going because maybe you know this person has money, will be getting some money, property, a gift, an engagement ring. Some of you, I feel as though you're trying to figure out how to manipulate the situation so that you're not essentially robbing someone of money or for monetary gain but you're taking them away from their life from their responsibilities if if you're dating someone with children you're slowly taking them away from being a parent they're not going with their kids anymore it's as though you don't want to share this partner you want them with you at all times, tied and bound. 
or vice versa, if you're starting to feel this way, you're wondering how do you break free? How do you break out? How do you release yourself from this situation? Advice. What is the advice so that we can move on to the love reading, even though this is pretty much turned into a love reading? Five of Cups, another five. Queen of Swords. <clears throat> and Knight of Pentacles. You have a lot of Earth energy here. And a lot of fives. So th this is a moment of changing. You will be changing. A lot of things will be changing around you. You're going to start to feel as though you're losing control of the situation. You're going to start feeling some sort of anxiety about, if you're not already feeling it, about how things changed, how you may have lost control of the situation. I feel like there's so much anger here about how the situation is going to evolve and move forward. It is going to move forward very slowly because I do see a lot of pain and discontentment and disappointment. But Aries, really think about this situation and what is for your highest good. If you really want a relationship to work out, to continue to manifest you don't do it out of fear of losing that person because that's exactly what you will end up manifesting is more fear and loss if the person needs space give them space if they are meant to be with you they will come back to you I know it sounds pretty cheesy and corny I know I get it move this over here let's move on to love life reading sorry if I'm sounding a little monotone today I'm trying to <clears throat> try not to wake everyone up <laughs> all right here we go Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus sign straight up singles for the month of May 2019 for the month of May 2019. Straight up single Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You deserve love. You are lovable. So some of you um, that have been single for quite some time, not sure how you're going to move on, be move forward. Um, I'm feeling that some of you had a pretty tough relationship whether the breakup was your idea or because of something that happened that maybe you feel blame or guilty or at fault for know that you are lovable you deserve love Let's clarify that. Oh, yeah. Repeating card, the lover's card. Another repeating card, six of pentacles, ace of wands, and another repeating card. And yet again, both of them, three of pentacles, four of wands. Ace of swords. <laughs> These are pretty much all the cards you got with the other deck, by the way. Yep, look at that. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. It's a whole other deck, guys. Repeating cards, strong messages. So if that first spread in your general resonated, and maybe you're either in between partners so you're kind of single, still trying to get your ex back. Maybe you're about to be single because of what happened. The situation at hand. So here we go. You are lovable. So whatever the situation may have been, I'm not going to assume it was the same message as the first reading. But whatever the situation may have been, 
whether it was you or someone else who decided to walk away from this partnership. Some of you are trying to walk back towards a partnership. You're trying to offer equal give and take. You're trying to offer a new beginning. Let's make this work. I want our family back. I want to get back together with you. I want to come back together with you. I promise I'll be honest. I'll be truthful. I'll give you everything, all the information that you need to know. Please give me another chance, another opportunity. I promise there are no other secrets than that. You are who I wanted to marry. You are who I want to marry. Let's please fix this and move forward. That's what I'm feeling about this message. Some of you want to say that. Some of you are thinking that, but you're feeling as though you're not deserving of a new path, of a new opportunity, of a second chance. For some of you, it's more than a second chance. You have a long history with this partner, with this person. And there is the thief card once again. Perhaps you feel as though they've stolen your time, emotional energy, your family, or vice versa. If you're trying to find your way back to this partner. And you would love nothing more. Yeah. Let me see. Courthouse, main mail and courtship those flew out so yes yeah, some of you are trying to get back together with an ex um, you realize that you've made some mistakes they know what those mistakes are they know some of it maybe not all of it some of you are at the point that I'm gonna say this at this point you're like I have no other choice no other options but to be completely open and honest about everything I did everything I said everything I set in motion how I did it out of love, out of fear of losing them. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get this person back. You want me to give more? I'll give more. You want me to tell you everything? I'll tell you everything. You want more sex? I'll give you more sex. <laughs> but this is one of those where it's like, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get back together, to fix things, to work together on bringing our family back to bringing unity back i want to get married i want to marry you you are my life you are my love can we please start over some of you are going to want to hold back on all those truths but if you try to restart a relationship on half truths and lies you'll be back at square one so please be careful when trying to come back to someone and trying to make an offer. So if you're trying to summon up the courage to get to this point, remember that you are lovable. You deserve love. Own your mistakes. Be open and honest. And if you truly are regretful of your mistakes, be open and honest about what the next step is. Learn from it so that it doesn't happen again. So that you don't lose this person again. Or they don't leave you or walk away from you again. Because that is your concern. Some of you don't want to be completely open and honest. You'll say you do. You'll sound like you're saying everything, but that concern stays there. That doubt of, how do I know they're still being honest with me? How do I know that they've told me everything? How do I know they're not making a fool out of me? So, single Aries, that was your message certainly felt like it was a continuation of that first part for some not all because I do feel that for some of you that first message didn't re you know resonate but for you singles here trying to figure out how to get back to next how to even if you don't want to get back to next but you just want a loving relationship you've learned from past mistakes and you're ready to start a new relationship 
And even though a new relationship comes to you, you're at the point where you're finally learning. You can't pull the bullshit that you did in the past, right? That shit's just not going to fly anymore. Okay, so here we go. Coupled up Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign from May 2019 for couples. That was new love, but not yet. <clears throat> I just want to say with that new love that flipped out, if this whole reading is resonating, that new love is that for some of you that do get back together with your partner and do have a resurgence of love, a new beginning, a, you know, a new outlook to it starting over, for some of you that does become available. So here we go for you in-betweeners, couples, married, living together, just started dating. Not sure. Just watch the whole reading. Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon. I'm sorry. Aries, Sun. I keep wanting to say Leo. So some of you guys are dealing with Leo or you have Leo in your chart. Or whatever the situation may be is happening in Leo season, which is August. Okay. I believe it's July, August. Okay. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for couples. What's the overall energy for May 2019? Overall energy. There we go. Love yourself first. If you, if you are just bending over backwards, going above and beyond, putting in much more effort than your partner is, love yourself first. Your self-respect, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. If they're taking you for granted, if they're taking advantage of you, stand your ground, love yourself first. Don't put up with bullshit. Where's this one? Don't put up with bullshit. Don't allow someone to disrespect you. Don't allow someone to take you for granted. Because that's all you'll be, is someone that they can use and abuse. Especially if you're dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energies or someone who can be a bit harsh with their words, cold. Or perhaps you're dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right there. The Emperor. Too many guys here. Too many men. Do we have a selection of men here? Oh, look at that. I love the sun card. Everything surrounding the sun card just softens the blow because the sun is this positive radiancy to remind you that no matter how hard things may get, you will have a happy outcome. Again, with the repeating cards. Very important, guys. High Priestess, repeating card. Five of Cups, repeating card. King of Wands. King of Swords. Six of Swords. The Hierophant is a repeating card. So love yourself first. Some of you are on the verge of just leaving this person, walking away. You're just trying to figure out, maybe if I leave this person, it'll wake them the fuck up and then they'll you know, realize that they've been taking me for granted. Maybe if I, you know, took off for a bit, they'd finally appreciate everything that I do for them, how much I love them. Whether you're dealing with someone with control, controlling energies, an older man, maybe you've got a shared household too many people putting their input in your relationship you're trying to find your way to happiness you're trying to figure out how to manifest a marriage out of this how to create something more traditional but if you are sharing a household with other family members father grandfather uncles you've got a lot of testosterone here and everyone's trying to take control of whatever the situation is you've got three fives once again you are in a period of major change some of you are going to be feeling a lot of emotional energy a lot of anxiety you're going to be feeling like shit is just out of control because you feel out of control because you're 
trying to figure out how to get your best foot forward, how to manifest whatever future you want. You want to get married. You want to get your own place, you and your partner. You want to start a family. You want to walk away. But then you've got more than one person who's disrespecting you, who's trying to cut you down, who makes you feel like shit, who probably makes you feel like you're no good, like you're a loser. And you're just like, I can't take this anymore. I need to create my own life, my own partnership, my own family. You have two twos here, which means this is about partnership. This is about, you know, moving ahead, winning at all costs. But just be careful. Who else has a say in this relationship? Because a relationship should only be between the two people involved in the relationship. Don't go to your friends, your family members, your parents. Don't go to, you know, anybody else asking for love advice. Don't go spilling your marital problems or relationship problems to people that have no say. At least they shouldn't have any say in it. A relationship is between your two people. Now, if you are in an abusive relationship, manipulation, a narcissist, that is a major concern for you. Will things get worse or will they get better once we live on our own, away from our parents, away from roommates, away from whomever? Will the behavior get worse once we get married? This also has to do about working hard towards someone or something. Some of you aren't working and you're looking for a job. Yeah, you're looking for a job. You're trying to find a new place of employment or perhaps your partner is. So some of you may have court dealings if you've been arrested. And if you haven't, be careful. Child support custody issues, visitation rights. Be careful, Aries. You've got with the official person in the courthouse. Some of you may be subpoenaed. Some of you may be asked to testify in court, especially if it's about a situation at work. You know, also I feel as though for some of you, you're not going to be like in a courthouse situation, but if you witness something at work, you may be called in to discuss it. And this particular situation may lead to an actual hearing. So this is dealing with like a supervisor, an officer, someone who is an official person who holds like a legal title. Yeah, some of you may be getting subpoenaed or you may be sending an official person to that partner. Maybe it's a restraining order. Because I feel as though if there was an altercation, if there was a fight, maybe you thought you may have escaped it. Maybe it was a hit and run. If you're involved in some illegal dealings, know that it will catch up to you. Be careful. Whether it's you or your partner. Especially with that five of cups and five of swords. I don't like this feeling. What's the advice? What's the next step? Aries couples, how do they handle this situation? Wow. Advice, Aries couples. Where do they go from here? What is the next step? How can they fix this? It's catching up to you, so be careful if you are involved with illegal activity. I don't see you escaping talking your way out of this or your partner. Again, work. Some of you have been stealing from your job. 
theft, fraud. I keep hearing theft and fraud. Some of you may feel as though you got away with it. Don't be surprised if you get sued. That is what is going to be of big concern in this relationship. This was like all jumbled up for all you Aries couples. I don't like that reading at all. I don't want to end it there. It's such a funky, sour note. Overall message for Aries. Best advice, best outlook for May 2019. Aries Sun Moon Rising. I just feel I need to pull additional cards for you guys. Because I didn't like that. that. There it is, the legal system again. Justice. Okay, too many cards. That was the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. This is about new beginnings in money, financially, home, new jobs. Eight of Cups. Okay, Aries, you guys are going to have a really... I keep hearing life-changing. This is going to be a pivotal time for you, this part of the year, the month of May. Some life-changing situations, energies. Yeah, there you are, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Queen of Wands. Wow, and King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. So, fire sign couples or partnerships. Wow, okay. I do not like this. What is going on with you guys? It's like self-destructive energy here. For some of you, this is the end of a relationship. You thought you were each other's soulmates, trying to make shit work. Okay. Oh, this is like pit of my stomach. Shit's about to fall apart. Truth is about to be uncovered. Your world, your home. I keep hearing the same thing. It's about to collapse. It's all going to come crashing down. This is a fire sign couple, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone who has this in their charts, or that is their energy right now. Like they're super fired up, impulsive, wanting to take action. But I feel that a part of you guys, there's a tug of war here. So much so that you're willing to walk away or they are willing to walk away. That ends this completely. I feel here like it's the female or the feminine energy that decides to walk away. Ending a relationship, ending a marriage. Some of you just had it. And it's like there's no turning back. I don't want to hear it. You know, that kind of energy. The star card. The strength card. See, I knew it. Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I'm not loving this. Ugh, I got a stomach ache, you guys. I'm telling you, May is going to be uh, life altering. Life altering for some of you. Truth is revealed. For some of you, your home, your partnerships, your jobs comes crashing down. 
Others of you can sense it, that feeling, that anxiety of impending doom. It's coming, you know it's coming, and how do I handle this? How do I try to keep moving forward as if none of this is really going on? Because that's what I feel. Like in your mind, you're like, I know this shit's coming for me. I know things are about to fall apart. I know they are. I set this shit in motion, or I know someone who did set this shit in motion. I'm trying to avoid worst case scenarios. So how do I play on as though everything's fine, we're good, we're all one big happy family. This is a need, a time for strength like you have never had it before. If you do not change the behavior, the mentality that got you in this predicament, you will be, you will keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. If this is a relationship or a partnership, you are completely imbalanced right now. I feel like one of you as emotionally imbalanced, the other one, well, actually, I feel like you're both emotionally imbalanced and your double imbalance is just waiting to explode. And that's why shit falls apart. Someone is about to get locked up. Whether it's you or your partner someone you you have this feeling it's coming you're going to jail they're going to jail it's coming soon if it hasn't happened yet the minute somebody gets locked up it's like i'm walking away from this shit i don't want i don't want any kind of involvement i'll be single i'll do my healing i'll be moving forward i'll be strong i gotta go you have three eights here if you want to better yourself, to improve from past mistakes, eight means it's a time for progress where you look back at the mistakes, where you look back, whether you made them or not, but you learn from it and you make progress as you put it behind you and you make sure that that kind of shit, this kind of outcome doesn't happen again. And that is where you find your inner balance, emotional healing, hope and positive outlook for your future. Aries couples, Aries people, Aries friends. This feels like it's a fire sign couple. <clears throat> I was not expecting this. I was hoping for something different. But at least this way, you have fair warning. If you're feeling it like it's about to happen, do better. Do good. Be on your best behavior. Cut out the negative behavior that can land you in jail. Whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. So... If you are involved in some illegal activity where you or your partner might end up in jail, might end up in some legal troubles, and you're thinking, I've gotten away with it before, I'll keep getting away with it, don't do it. It's time to let go. Move the fuck on. Yeah, move the fuck on from bad decisions, from poor choices, from bad behavior. Shit is going down with your job. I told you guys. Okay, if you are involved with some sort of theft of money, of products, anything like that 
or maybe it's not you, but maybe it's someone that you work with and you're going to be seen as an accomplice. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Do you want to get caught up in this situation? Be careful, those of you that are involved with some shady shit at work. Whether you get raided, whether you get caught up with someone else, whether it's you who trusted the wrong employee. Maybe you did one thing one time and you trusted a coworker who can now bring you down. Because maybe they're not happy with the situation that you had. Maybe your friendship, you know, maybe your friendship uh, has started to deteriorate. Maybe they're mad at you. Maybe they want to get back at you. No, not this one. I don't like that energy. I feel a little apprehensive, a little lost. Okay. Let me just end that reading since we're almost at an hour. Okay, this is a weird reading. I'm gonna have to do another one for Aries because this just feels really off. Maybe your mid-month will be better. But in any case, happy Mother's Day to all the Aries mommies out there. If you celebrate Mother's Day this May, I wanna wish you all a happy Mother's Day. Everyone give your moms a day off. Pamper your mommies. Goddess Guidance Oracle message. What does Aries... Aries mothers, what is the most important message they need to hear? Goddess guidance, please. Most important message for Aries goddess mothers. not coming for you what is going on okay Aries mothers goddess guidance oracle message for Mother's Day you got two cards that flew out wow I love it goddess Guinevere true love the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you that is a gorgeous card. So if you are not an Aries mother, pamper your mother. Show them true love. Shower them with love. Show them how much you appreciate them. Get them flowers. Get them the time off. Get them their hair done. And if you are an Aries mother, pamper yourself. Pamper your mothers in your life your mom, your sisters, your sister-in-laws, your, you know, aunts, grandmas, whoever it may be. Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Abundance can take on many forms, whether it's financial, emotional, mental, whatever it may be support of all kinds know that you are about to be supported by the universe and perhaps by your family you'll be showered with love gifts and maybe even money so there you have it Aries I hope you have a wonderful May I didn't like that reading I'm trying to stay as positive as possible I'm just like what is going on with you guys so I'll probably do another reading for you um, hopefully a much more clear reading on a different situation perhaps for uh, Aries for mid-May. Hopefully this gives you fair warning of what's to come and you can avoid the jail time or getting caught up with someone, right? So there you have it, Aries, Leo. Why do I keep saying that? You guys definitely dealing with the Leo. Maybe the Leo is the one that's about to backstab you and throw you under the bus. That just came to mind. Keep that in mind. I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my information is in the description box below. I will be opening up my calendar soon. So right now it's only waitlist people and it will be appointments will be taken on a first come first pay um, order. Okay. So once again, 
please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much. Take care. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.